Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week I posted letting you know that Microsoft had now confirmed that it will not fix the now infamous update, KB5034441, that rolled out near the beginning of January this year. And this is the update, 5034441. And for a lot of users, it was generating the error 0x8007064643 on Windows 10. Now, as you can see, and as mentioned previously, um, for me, fortunately, the update did install successfully. But for a lot of users, um, this was not the case. And the update was failing to install because the Windows recovery partition didn't have enough free space for a lot of users. And the update needed that free space to be installed. And that's why the update was failing with that error install failure message and error. Now, I'll leave a playlist in the end screen once again. It'll give you all the information you would need if you would like to play catch up and just get a little bit more, a little bit more info regarding this update and what the update is all about, what the update was trying to originally fix, uh, workarounds for the error that it's generating, um, how to hide the update. So go check that playlist out if you'd like some more info. Now, as mentioned previously, um, the only official kind of fix that Microsoft had given for this update um, was they had mentioned that manual steps are necessary to complete the installation of this update on devices which are experiencing the error. And as mentioned previously, the so-called manual steps to fix the, the problem are quite difficult and quite intense, I would say, and I think a lot of you would agree, for your average home user. And I think, as I've mentioned previously, previously it's a little bit cheeky of Microsoft to expect your average home user to run that workaround which is quite in depth and does require scripts and everything like that which is not really going to fly with your day-to-day -day user. Now in regards to that manual workaround, Microsoft now has slightly changed the original instructions for manually resizing the Windows recovery partition and I thought I'd just keep you guys posted because if you did try the previous workaround, if you did have the know-how, and it wasn't working, then maybe this so-called updated set of instructions will work. So if we just head over to this, here we can see it says, once again, Microsoft has changed how it updates PCs that run the Windows recovery environment, WinRE, and WinRE will be updated using monthly cumulative update, and that's exactly what happened with this update. Uh, it was trying to solve an issue and needed that space in the Windows recovery environment and it was a cumulative update that rolled out at the beginning of January as mentioned so that's where all the problems started. Now uh, this is quite important. Um, Microsoft says some PCs may not have a recovery partition that is large enough to complete this update because of this when our remote fail you will receive the error Windows recovery environment service and fail to help recover from this failure. This article provides instructions to manually resize your recovery partition if you get a system error phase of two. This requires your device to have the recovery partition after the OS partition. Use the steps below to verify this. And here is the workaround now, the updated instructions for manually resizing the Windows recovery partition. And as you can see, quite in depth. And as mentioned, if you have the know-how, then try this new set of instructions. It may fix your problem if the previous set of instructions didn't. And I'll leave this down below um, where you can obviously check this out more in depth and copy and paste all of these different instructions and commands and scripts um, if you would be interested. But as mentioned, I don't think your so-called average home user, your average Joe, is going to be able to manually resize your recovery partition to install uh, the actual update. And as I've stated previously, um, the update can be easily ignored, especially if you don't have a recovery partition. And the security issue, the, the update 503441 was originally trying to fix, was a security issue that needed, if you didn't have the update installed, it would need somebody to come to your house, get in your, break into your house, sit down at your computer, and then try and bypass the security and get into your system. So the chances of anybody actually getting into your system if you're an average home user are actually null and void. So that's why I always have said just ignore the update if it's failing to install and you can 
easily hide it and you will see all of that information in the playlist in the end screen of this video but nonetheless um, i'm digressing now but these are the new set of instructions slightly updated to the original that you may find of interest if you have the know-how to apply this new set of instructions to try and resolve those issues um, that 503 is causing and i thought i'd just keep you guys in the loop so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one